I'm Aaron. I'm from Meg.com. Along with me here is Jed Singer, who's our VP of Product Marketing. We also have uh, Gunther, our CEO, and a bunch of the crew here in the audience. Everybody say hi. Over there. Um, for those of you who don't know, Meg came from Stuzo. Uh, Stuzo is our parent company. Stuzo has been around since 2007. We primarily build engaging software for Fortune 5 companies like HBO, MasterCard, T-Mobile, uh, and a whole laundry list of other fantastic companies. Uh, so, what does Meg do? Uh, Meg uh, automates mobile marketing, creating more engaging experiences for consumers across multiple channels, including websites and the mobile web, social media, native mobile applications, including iOS and Android, uh, and also the real world via Beacon Technology. We currently have over 400 subscribed users and are just coming out of beta into our public release. Uh, so enough of the backdrop, we want to get in and show you Meg in action. So here Jed has the Meg website up and running. We see uh, Meg launcher in the lower left hand corner. Uh, Meg is here. Uh, you can think of it as a layer that lives on top of digital properties. Uh, this layer is HTML5 that allows us to deliver seamless experiences uh, across any type of platform, any <coughs> digital property. Uh, when clicked, Meg launches the app tray. Here's the app tray. These are all different types of apps on the Meg platform. Each one of these apps is a different experience. You can click on it and launch them up. This is an example of an engagement app. It's a Facebook feed. We also have another example of an app, which is a conversion app. Now, all of the apps in Meg's App Store, which you'll see in just a moment when we log in, uh, are designed to inform, engage, and convert consumers uh, across, and we think mobile first. All right. Uh, Want to take a quick break and peek out on Meg's technology for uh, a little bit, because I know everyone here loves tech. So Meg, uh, its application core is built on JavaScript. Uh, all of the Meg components, you see, the Meg Launcher, the Meg Containers and Apps, um, the Meg Manager, which we'll see in just a moment, the Meg Themes and Controls, Meg Automation, and Analytics all work and communicate with one another via web services. We also integrate with all of our third-party partners via web services. This allows our platform to be just about infinitely extensible, and we can customize everything in our, plat in our platform, uh, and also integrate with partners and white label the entire platform. So here we're going to jump into the Meg Manager. <coughs> Judge Show, we log in. We're, uh, we're going to use our staging environment today uh, so that we can demo our Beacon technology. It's, uh, it's brand new. Uh, so we're going to use a uh, live customer, though. This is Duke and Winston. For those of you who don't know them, they're a local retailer. They have a couple brick and mortar locations here in Philadelphia, also an online store. Uh, Duke and Winston, just like any other business has challenges of engaging consumers in the web, and mobile web, in social media, uh, and in the real world. So we're going to take you on a quick tour of how Duke and Winston is using Meg to automate mobile marketing. So here we have the App Store, the first section. We have all of our apps, again, that are designed to inform, engage, and convert across the, what we'll call the mobile marketing funnel. We have uh, one click to install an app as a new experience. If you click on an app, that'll put the app into the app tray on the left. With one click, we're configuring the app experience. It's this quick. We type in what we want the consumer to see when an app is launched. We have a second tab for launch rules. This is where automation comes into play. Under where, we have the ability to control where an app is displayed. Traditionally on the desktop website, or within a native mobile application, as we see there, or in social networks, or in store via our beacon technology. Um, or to configure apps to launch only on a phone, or a tablet, or a desktop. <coughs> we also have when, where we can control here. Uh, we can basically set schedules for an app to run therefore automating and creating a marketing campaign out of an app or series of apps. Finally, we have a section for how. This is, uh, allows us to configure how an app is displayed. We have rules to launch apps automatically, 
So if uh, someone gets to a website or mobile app with Meg, an app can launch into its container automatically. We also have discovery features that can launch notifications to help drive users through to an app and help them discover those experiences that are available. Um, and what else did I want to say about launch rules? Oh, and then so finally, when we're done configuring our app, right, everything on the front end for engagement, all of the launch rules, Meg has this great little preview functionality here. You can open this up, punch in a mobile phone number, that will send an SMS text. Get a link on your phone, you and click on the link, and it'll give you basically a live preview. We use a <coughs> proxy technology, a, the best approximation as we can, where we take and, so this is the Duke and Winston website here, but we're not actually at the Duke and Winston, uh, Winston website. This is just a live preview with Meg on top. So we get a good sense of how Meg is gonna look and feel. Uh, we've configured our apps, everything is ready to go. We switch back to the Meg manager, and with one click, we can launch uh, automated marketing campaigns across web and mobile web, social media, native mobile applications, and in the real world via Beacon technology. So Beacons are, that's last up, yeah? They are. Beacons are last up. Okay, so this is brand spanking new technology. Very, very exciting show. Oh, analytics, that's right, sorry. We're gonna do analytics first. Can't skip over that, it's important. You wanna know how people are using it, right? So we have, uh, we had to switch over to a live account so you can see live analytics coming through here. Uh, this is the aggregate view. So Meg is gonna track analytics on all the properties, the websites and the native mobile apps, a sort of aggregate view of everything that's happening, but also all of the interactions with Meg and the engagements and the conversions through Meg on a high level. We also have separately an apps tab where Meg is pulling all of the uh, engagement, interaction, conversion, and conversion data from each individual app that's being deployed through the platform to give you that granular level of detail. Thanks for reminding me, I'm gonna skip right over here. We nice. teased the beacons. Ah, uh, we did. I wanted to get you excited about the beacons. So, last piece of the puzzle here. Is uh, Reflector still up and running? It sure is. All right. Let's about the launch rules. So um, to sort of complete this full customer journey of a customer engaging with a brand or a business um, using their mobile device or on various digital properties, the last piece of the puzzle here is the real world. Um, for a brick and mortar business to be able to engage a consumer uh, and have that consumer discover something about them uh, in real time in the real world is the sort of, it's the last boundary for marketers to cross. And so we're finally there. So let's take for example, uh, I'm a Duke and Winston customer. I shop at their store. I have their native mobile app installed on my phone. Uh, Meg also has the ability to spin up a fully native iOS app in about 48 hours for a small business and submit it to the app store. So um, let's assume I've got the Duke and Winston app on my phone and I'm walking by the storefront. They have a beacon deployed in the storefront. I come into contact with that beacon and it automatically sends out a push notification. We're in staging right now. So it's gonna automatically send out a push notification to my phone, letting me know that you can listen to like interact with you. It never works. Um, but basically what happens here is um, that beacon can trigger an app-like experience, and that experience could do, for example, what we had configured, is push a 15% off coupon when you're walking by the store. The retailer can call out to you Drop us your name and email address. Come on into the store right now and we'll give you 15% off. And that allows the business to convert foot traffic uh, and convert it in their store and track that process all the way through and do full attribution to the entire platform. Um, that kind of is the power, I hope this is working because I'm shaking it up. That kind of is the holy grail for a marketer. And that's really what we're setting out to accomplish with Meg. We want to make it really easy for marketers to be able to engage their consumers. Uh, Facebook ID does not match. Put this down. We want to make it really easy for marketers to engage consumers everywhere they go, web, social media, uh, and tie all of those touch points and endpoints together and give them one platform to configure it all, to manage it, have full analytics, do attribution, uh, and take back control of their marketing. Um, 
That in a nutshell is Meg. One last thing before we finish up our demo, and then we'll open up for questions. We are, as we're coming out of beta here at the end of the year, we're launching our paid pricing plans. If you sign up for Meg now and go live before the end of the year, we're going to grandfather you in. You'll get to use Meg standard and premium apps <coughs> for free for life. You just have to go live before the end of the year. Get on it. Uh, thanks so much for your time tonight, and we'll open it up. Fully, fully. So the question is, how are we able to spin up a fully native app in, uh, in 48 hours? Elves. Um, elves. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, we, <laughs> oh, Love it. How are we really Zingers. able to do it? How are we really able to do it is, uh, no, it's fully native. We have a code base. It uh, really takes us about an hour. Um, we replicate our code base into a new instance. We have some parameters that we can define and quickly feed in content that is relevant to the business that comes through from social media and other feeds. Uh, we package it up and deploy it to the App Store in a turnkey fashion. And it comes built with Meg inside. So once the business distributes their app to all of the customers, they can customize all the apps and experiences and push those into that native app instantly. Next question. Sure, that's a great question. So, uh, in terms of the question was, for e-commerce, do we have existing integrations to pull through things like product categories, product feeds, other specifications, uh, pricing and things, and have direct integration with shopping cart? So, the, the short answer to that is not today, but it's in the roadmap. Not, but an e-commerce, like for example, Duke and Winston, um, they're using it. You can easily add a link app if you want to highlight, sort of surface, and make certain content discoverable. You can use a link app to dig deeper. A lot of our retailer customers are using the featured app, mm -hmm. which gives you basically an image and description carousel, five deep. Cool. Couple more questions. Uh, we had this hand. Yes. Yes. That's gone. Um, in, in terms of the IBD technology. Um, like let's say I'm a department store that wants to communicate with my customers. What, why do I need Meg to use iBeacon? Do I already have that capability within my app? Is it more targeted to those small businesses that don't understand the next level so they use Meg? What, what sure. No, that's a great question. So the question is, um, if I purchase beacons for my brick and mortar locations, why is it that I need Meg as a platform to be able to deliver experiences through those beacons to my consumers on their mobile devices? Um, so if you are a business, you can use the SDKs that are available from companies like Estimote uh, or Contact.io. Uh, those SDKs allow you to build in, however, it's, it's all manual and you have to build the entire platform from scratch. They're not giving you any kind of delivery mechanisms or app-like experiences that you can configure and launch on the fly. We remove that barrier uh, and allow businesses to deliver all types of engagements and experiences turnkey. Good question. Thank you. There's one in the back. There. Well, another one? Yeah, you gave the example of the retailer <coughs> pushing out a 15% coupon. It sounds like that could go to everybody who walks in with the, with the retailer's app. If you wanted to, if the retailer wants to segment, maybe certain customers get different kinds of offers. Yep. Are they currently able to do that, or is that something that's in the roadmap? So again, a great question. Uh, we just went into launch into beta what, a few months ago, and are coming out by the end of the year. So there's a lot on the platform that's that's in the pipe. That's another one. ERP integrations, um, other services out there that are doing personalization, whereby it makes sense for us to partner with them. Um, leverage their personalization algorithms um, so that we can surface content that's relevant based on your purchase behavior, shopping behavior, personal interests, your social graph, so on and so forth. Um, that's all stuff that's coming down the road, but ultimately is uh, exactly where we need to be. Yeah, there are really uh, two very exciting spaces that are kind of evolving in parallel. Um, one of them is mobile marketing automation, and you've got other great companies locally like Artisan Mobile. Um, that have their own flavor of mobile marketing automation. Uh, and then there's also MCXM, which is a phenomenal acronym that I wish I had thought of. 
um, but that's uh, mobile customer experience management. Uh, and that has a lot to do with personalization, um, especially when it comes to retail. So we're going to be working a lot with that type of engine in the future, definitely. Any other questions? All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.